Hi everybody. I haven't been here in so long. I have been so sick with the flu. I'm on week three and I'm feeling so much better. Um, so I feel like I can finally rejoin the world a little bit, which is exciting for me. Woohoo! I'm out of bed. Um, I wanted to come on today to just kind of talk a little bit about starting a new painting and what the process looks like for me, especially now because it's changed a little bit. Um, and I just kind of wanted to go over how I get my inspiration and then how I go about planning the piece that I'm going to be doing. So I'm actually about to start a new painting, so I figured this would be the perfect time to share um, the beginning of my process with you guys. So that being said, um, I thought, okay, I'm going to start a new piece. What do I want to do? And so typically... Um, I'll start looking at images. Now, often I'll go on to Instagram, Flickr, Facebook, and then mainly through my own catalog of reference landscape shots that I've taken over time. Usually I'm looking at my own photos and maybe my father's photos, um, and with his permission, I will use those as reference in my paintings. It's really important to get permission from whoever's photo you are using for reference. I mean, if you're gonna, you don't wanna copy anyone's photos because that's a copyright uh, infringement. So what you wanna do is get permission from the photographer if you're using their photo as reference. Or, I mean, if you're using several different photos for reference, but you're not copying a photo of a landscape, um, like right on, you're just using different pieces and parts and, and pulling them together, then usually you're gonna be okay. It's when you're using an image um, and just painting that exact image as you see it and you're not giving credit to the photographer at all is when you're gonna run into trouble. A lot of people don't know that, that you can't just go online and grab any old image and paint it. Um, or at least you shouldn't. You really need to try to ask permission. That's why I try to take my own photos to use as reference or um, I'll ask my father um, if I can paint from his. There's a few I have my eye on too that my aunt has done recently that are really beautiful. So um, I'm gonna also probably be asking her soon. So be ready for that, Aunt Pat. Um, so anyway, that being said, I'll go through the images and then I'll usually feel like, a, like almost like a buzz of excitement when I see a certain image that calls out to me. And I think we all know, it's like almost like when you're shopping and you see a shirt you love or a sweater or a coat or anything and you get that little like, ooh, that's for me or ooh, I wanna try that on or that looks right. So I get that same feeling about an image and I'll save it into like a folder on my computer or on my phone and then file it away. And I'll kind of just do that. I'll even use Pinterest. I'll like find images I love and save them um, for future reference. So then I'll go through those images and decide what do I feel like painting right now? And usually one will stand out most to me that I really feel like I need to express something about that image. So then I'll pick it. So recently that happened to me with a landscape that I'd like to do, that uh, uh, an image my father took and it was just so beautiful. And he took it across the street from me where I live. He walked up the road and saw this little scene and took a photo and it just really spoke to me. I upped the saturation in it and then um, I have it to use as reference. I'm gonna try to show you here. I'll hold it up. And then, ah, I just dropped it. Okay, look out. And then I'll focus this so you can see it. So it's flipped in reverse for you, but you get the idea <clears throat> there's a, a waterfall and you can see there's a little pond behind, maybe in that green color. There's trees, there's foliage, there's lots of different greens and there's a little um, dam here. So I just found this image to be really captivating with the fall colors and everything. So that's why that stood out to me. So now it's on my phone and I'm gonna paint from it. Now I'm gonna take some of the trees out. I've already asked my dad's permission to use the image and then um, I'm gonna go ahead and use my own artistic license to say, yeah, some of those trees don't need to be there. Uh, I'm gonna omit and then I'm gonna paint this 
not in a realistic way. Um, I like to make my paintings more painterly and colorful and drippy and a little more abstract with a lot of energy in the strokes and movement. So I'm gonna approach it with lots of color and bright. So the next step in my process is a little strange for people, so bear with me. But um, I'm really involving more of a spiritual practice into my work. Um, I feel like my work is for a purpose. It's for other people. It's not just for me. The process of making it for me is like really enjoyable and it's soothing, it's meditative, it's relaxing. I get so much joy out of painting. But there also is an element, a larger element of why I'm painting it and why am I drawn to this image? Um, why is it this specific image that's calling to me and what is it about it? So what I do now is I'll sit in, in the quiet, provided there's, there's no kids at home and the dogs are put away, and I will pray. Um, I will also meditate. Some people call it prayer. Some people call it meditating. I don't think there's any right or wrong, um, but the point is to sit quietly. And I try to clear my head of my own chatter and just let the thoughts come to me as they will. You don't want to like say no to thoughts. You're just letting them come to you rather than you deciding what you're going to think about. So I sit and let the thoughts come roll by like a river. And usually I'll say, okay, in my prayer, or in my meditation, or in my intention that I said, I say, help me figure out like what I want to show with this painting. Help me figure out who this is for and what do they need from this piece. Um, and usually I know that since this is such a colorful piece, like obviously this isn't like a sad painting or something like contemplative, you know, like moody. This is, you know, uplifting. There's a, a high vibe energy behind this image. There's a lot of bright color. And then it'll start to come to me that this is a healing painting. This is for people who really need an uplift. They look at this and they're going to feel not only a sense of uplift and energy and joy, but it's a beautiful image. <clears throat> the color is really rich and vibrant and the scene is very tranquil. So it's also soothing. So it's uplifting and it's bringing you into a sense of peace. And so if you need that in your life, this image is going to call to you and or this painting. So you'll think, wow, I really need an uplift in my day. I need more energy. I need more vibrance. Um, I need healing. I need soothing. Um, maybe I'm an anxious person or I'm agitated. And then when I was thinking in my meditation, the phrase um, came to me in my head like, this is soothing. This is for someone who needs to know it's going to be okay. And that was powerful for me when the, the words, it's going to be okay, came to me. And it's like a thought that just appears. Maybe it's my own thought. Maybe God or spirit or your guide or your angel or whatever your belief system is. I believe it's all kind of one and the same with just different terminology. But... That's put there for a reason. I really believe that. Um, I feel called to, to put that thing out there that someone else needs. It's like a prescription for someone else. Someone needs to know that it's going to be okay and there is hope going forward. Um, so that's my journey with this piece is to provide that for someone else. It's a prescription. Um, and then I just, I'm going to go ahead and I am going to create this and with the intent that it's going to lift someone up and let them know that it's all going to be okay. This is going to be their image of hope, of tranquility, of peace, but it's also going to be uplifting and energetic. So maybe someone has gone through a hard time 
and they need an uplift. This is going to be that heirloom piece that's gonna provide that for them. So it's nice to go into a painting knowing what it's for and why and what my role in it is. So when I start the piece, I can inf call in that energy of hopefulness and of soothing and of tranquility and the feelings that it's all going to be okay. I can pray that that energy goes through me as a conduit, through my hand, through my brush, onto the, the panel. And I'm going to think about that intention as I paint. So with that, the energy then infuses into the piece and it's with the piece. So whoever needs that feeling is going to connect after it's done. That's going to be something that's going to provide to them. If I have that energetic intention and put that energy in through prayer, through meditation, and through intention of transferring that energy over. It's really that simple. Um, it may seem woo-woo or a little weird to some people, um, but I really believe that prayer and connection to something greater in a mystery that we don't understand is important. It provides faith and hope in our life and gives us kind of that fuel and energy to move forward. So I really see that as my role here. So that's how I'm starting my paintings um, going forward, that there's real intention behind them and real energy and thought and prayer that makes these really special. And I think a lot of artists do this, but they don't realize they're doing it. When, they, when you break down the process bit by bit, it all is just automatic. Um, but I've really taken time to think about it and break the process down so that I can explain it. Why are my paintings important? Why does someone need this original art in their life? Um, and I really see it as something that can change your every day. You, you encounter this piece every day in your life and you're going to reflect on it and look at it and enjoy it. And it's surrounding you in your, in your space. So you want it to have the energy that you want in your home. Um, and this provides that. That's something like a print that you buy at Target really can't provide in the same way that doesn't have the energy infused in it and the thought and the prayer behind it. It's mass produced. It's something everyone else has. Um, it's something that was just done in a factory after the painting was made by someone in a quick way and they licensed the image, which is great for them. Um, and it's great in a pinch when you don't have money um, to really buy an original yet and you want to decorate your home. So I feel like there's a place for those. But when it's time to upgrade to the next level, I think that this is the perfect way to do it. You don't want to just pick up any old painting. You want a painting you connect with. And it's not about like who did it as much or what's the investment as it is, what's the energy behind it, and what's the value in my life. So if you've been interested in how this stuff starts and where it comes from, this is how it all Go. So hopefully that sheds some light. So later I'm going to um, start this painting and I'll share the creation as I go along. So I hope this was helpful or interesting to someone. Um, it's fun for me and I'm so glad you tuned in and hung out with me today. So I will see you later when I share this video. I'll probably do a time lapse or some sort of, you know, process to show how it's done. So thanks for hanging out and I will see you later. Have a great day. Bye.